right, here we are. We're going to do another project. So the first thing I want to do is remove our last one and import a new graphic. This time we're going to do a bag of money. This is easy. This is a small two-piece project. Boom. All right, now, as I said before, not everything comes in perfectly registered, but you can move this stuff around, make it bigger and smaller. All right, I'll do that. And you'll see, you don't see your bag of money. And that is the background on top. So I go here to the left, take this tab and move that. And there we are. All right, so we have our money on top of that background. And we go through the same type of uh, thinking, you know, to do, you know, animate these any way you like. All right, let's see, I'll make this one spiral in. Which one am I under here? Oh, it's, it's set in the middle, so I need to t take that from an area, from the left. I'll take that from the left, see? Oh, I'm, on, oh, I'm, I'm on the out animation. Let me start at the end. All right, so let me bounce this in from the left. There we go. And then I've got this bag of money. I'm going to take that. That's going to fall down right from above. And we're just going to kind of bounce that in. How about that? All right. We'll go to the pause animation. I'm going to select everything in the pause animation. And I'm just going to, you know, I'll do a quick rotation. All right. I'll put that on a three minute, three second timer. That'll just rotate a little bit. And then on the out animation, I'll do an overshoot and then I'll, let me see here. This is the bag. Is this the bag or the, let me see. The bag is the top one. Yeah, the bag is the top one. It came from above, so I'm going to drop it down. And then I'm going to just have it exit, have the other one exit out that way. All right. So a couple of things about this I'd like to point out. Number one, we have two pieces. We have a bag and we have a background. I have created dozens and dozens of background. So if you want to replace this red back, you know, this red circle with a yellow or a green or a blue or any of those colors, you can do that. All you have to do is go to import graphic and bring it in. Um, in that case, what you want to do is just remove it here and import another one. That's very, very simple. We'll go and, we'll go and find that and, uh, and import another one. Let's see here, shapes. That's under here. Um, what you're seeing is these are not quite in order for you guys yet, but they will be shortly. So let me pick a, uh, what did we have there before? We had that, you know, dark red one. Why don't we pick a, um, I'll pick one that looks like royal blue. How about that? All right, so it's a little large on the large side. I'm going to bring that in and then move that right there. See that? So there are, and you can make it any size you want. Um, I have both circles and squares, and in another video I'll tell you how you can make lots more of your own, but I have dozens of these backgrounds that you can use with all of these, and I'll be getting into lots more discussion about mixing and matching and doing some really, really fun stuff with this in future videos.